we're preparing for the mural in all sorts of ways. We've made the clay now, or mixed up a lot of the clay, and now I'm squaring up the original design from which squared up drawing I'm going to work. This is the original design here. This is what it's going to look like eventually. It's a drawing drawn up, drawn up at 1 to 10. It'll be about 3 metres long eventually. And it's in a series of panels, as you can perhaps see on the picture. And here I have drawn it in black and white, or this was the original drawing, and I'm squaring it up with a series of horizontal and vertical lines into one centimetre square pieces, which will then be blown up when I come to work on one centimetre or ten centimetre pieces here, actually eleven centimetre, but I'll explain that later. I'm now taking the drawing, which I've taken from the original design, which is all squared up into grids, but because clay shrinks about 10%. For every 10 centimetres we're making it 11 centimetres big and then after the various firings it'll shrink back to the required size. So this grid is squared up in 11 centimetre square lines and I'm now enlarging the drawing by observation fairly freehand but then of course one's able to adjust it as you go along. We're now starting modelling into the raw clay and we're doing the first panel. This is a man picking a potato plant with people gathering apples in behind. Here's the man with his potato plant all modelled up in the clay, his hand reaching out for the potato. And behind him, two women dressed up in the turn of the century, turn of the 20th century costume, picking apples.